Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do a presentation on Kahoot. And for anyone who has never heard of Kahoot, it's a game-based learning platform that brings engagement and fun to many players every year at school, work, and at home. And the plus side, you can sign up for free. Now here it shows you can um, upgrade, but we are going to stick with continuing for free. And this allows, you know, when you're playing, you can play engaging uh, quiz-based games on Kahoot. And again, you can do this at school, at home, at work. You can create some Kahoots and learn something new. It's nice because Kahoot brings the magic of learning for students, teachers, uh, trivia fans, and lifelong learners. I use Kahoot a lot in my classroom. My kids absolutely love it. Um, I know Kahoot has been growing over the years. There's millions around the world that use Kahoot. Um, it's a free game based, again, free. Yeah, you can upgrade, but it's free, so you can't beat that. The plus side is, you know, according to researchers, researchers, Kahoot is able to allow students to learn without the notice of participating in quizzes. Moreover, students also report it. They are more engaged and motivated to participate in class with the participation of Kahoot. So let's just look. I'm going to show you. I know we can go to the library. And you can hear you can create a Kahoot. We can go back home. Actually, I'm sorry. We're going to go to Discover. And say, I know I used one the other day. We were reviewing nouns. So this would allow you, it says, find me a Kahoot about. You know, you could search different things. So we're going to do nouns. different there's a variety so here's one because we were working on like common and proper nouns and it shows you you know how many questions this one we have 16 then you would give the code to the students and then we could start What is nice with Kahoot, you know, it allows us to review students' knowledge, you know, in a formative assessment or as a break from traditional assess or classroom activities. It's also among the most popular game-based learning platforms with 70 million monthly active unique users and used by 50% of U.S. K-12 students. So you could pick how you would want, you know, if you want classic mode, team mode, or just go with a classic mode. And then this is the pin you would give your students. They can log in. You know, they could use cell phones or iPads, um, Chromebooks. So it's waiting for players, but we're just going to go ahead and start because I just want to kind of show you. Then you would start and you'd go ahead and play. So again, Kahoot goes beyond being a fun motivation or reward for students. 
um, you know, it allows us to collect data, um, having class progress. Um, it can help you capture actionable insights and target instruction in any learning environment. So this could be used within any classroom and you can find different, you know, topics. You can create your own. These also can be used, you know, in your class. You can do it during video conferencing. Um, it can, you're going to display questions and answers on those devices live for the students. This can be assigned to student, so it's paced challenges for review or homework. Um, again, you can play individually. You can play in teams. We could always have multiple choice questions. You can be grabbing attention with true and false questions. Um, it's a very friendly user platform. Um, it makes it fun to use. I use this lots in my class. And it's definitely a fan favorite. Students are more engaged when it comes to learning due to how an interactive a platform could, could be. And again, just going back, you know, if you're going to the home page, there's so many options. You can go discover. There's Valentine's Day stuff, general knowledge, language. Here's math and science, language arts. And just you can it's a fun interactive program. And if you aren't using Kahoot in class, I highly recommend it.